and welcome back to my channel. So I really do hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Sorry for being quite absent over those sort of two weeks. I've just been spending so much time with family and friends and it's just been really nice. But before I knew it, the whole period had gone past and I was like, oh, that, that went quick. So yeah, I am sorry, but I'm getting back into it now and you know, slowly getting back into my routine of things and I start a new job next week. So just stressful, 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 but uh, it's all fun. So no, I'm, I'm doing really good and I hope you all had a lovely holiday. But um, I thought I would do a video on what I got for Christmas 2019. So I've been watching a few that other people have been doing and thought it would be fun to do with myself and it's kind of a nice introduction to the new year. Um, so I'll start off with the Christmas present I bought myself. So I don't normally do this and technically it was just something I bought myself but I've labelled it my Christmas present to myself. So it's my first ever designer purchase. Now it's not even a proper designer purchase, well it is, but it's makeup, but then I'm gonna DIY it into a handbag. You'll understand in a second. So this is what it looks like. So I've already taken out its packaging because I'm actually wearing the makeup right now because I spent a lot of money on this, I'm going to treasure it. So this is what it looks like. So it's the Dior Holiday Collection and every year they bring out these different sort of lipstick collection cases and they come with six lipsticks inside. And now Dior, oh, that was my light. Dior makeup is very expensive anyway. So each of the lipsticks in here would be about 40 pounds each. Um, they are very nice lipsticks though and I'm actually wearing one of the colours on right now and they're all lipsticks I'd wear like they're all either nudes or reds and I literally live in those colours anyway so um, I didn't feel like I was wasting my money on that front and I think I, Boots was selling it for £124 so it's a lot of money but you get six lipsticks and the case itself is leather so what my plan is because I'm thrifty like that I'm actually going to take the lipsticks out so yeah, what I do is I take the tray of lipsticks out just like this. And then I've got this perfect little clutch size bag, which fits my super fat phone in. And I use it as a little clutch bag. So currently I've actually worn it over the Christmas period just as a clutch. I think it looks really cute with my pajamas, but it will look cute with an outfit, um, especially cause it's black leather and gold. Like I just really liked it. And then long term, I might put some straps on it so I can wear it kind of on one shoulder. But um, I just really liked the sort of fireworky looking design. And it was just a bit of a splurge on myself. I thought, you know what? I don't really spend my money much on me. So I was like, I'll buy myself something little. So it's not super expensive for Dior anyway. And a Dior bag would cost loads. So I thought I would make a Dior bag out of it. So it kind of doubled as two presents to myself. It's a bag and it's makeup. So I thought it was a win-win, but um, that was my little present to myself. And through buying it, Dior also gave me a gift of, I got like some of their perfume testers, but like, how cute is that? It's like a little Christmas decoration. I love it. So that was my little splurge on myself from Dior. Then the next thing I got, oh my God, right. I'll be back in two seconds to get it. Okay, so one of my family members got me something that is just amazing. So my family always struggles to know what to get me. Obviously I work with a lot of companies so they always think I get everything I need, clothes wise and girly wise. So they have to think really hard on what to actually get for me. And my uncle laser cut ammonites into a chopping board. Like how amazing is this? Like, I'm never gonna use it as a chopping board. I might use it as a serving board, but this is something I'll treasure forever. Like, isn't that just stunning? <laughs> I just love it, I absolutely love it. And of course it matches the tattoo. Like, I am obsessed with ammonites, but it's all right. <laughs> not everything in my house will be ammonite themed though. I am gonna try really hard not to, cause I could definitely do that. And then he also laser cut into each of these coasters, different types of ammonites. Like, <laughs> I, I genuinely, I'm just, I, I'm kind of a bit speechless with them. Like, it's just the most thoughtful gift he could have done. Absolutely amazing. So really, really love these and I just had to share. So designer and fossils I got for Christmas apparently. And then I'll show you some other bits and bobs that I got. So I then got heated hair rollers, which I've been wanting to try for ages. So I got the Babyliss ones or Babyliss. I never know how to pronounce it, but um, 
I just really wanted to try them because they kind of like I love my curly hair I'm, I don't really like straightening my hair it just is too straight um, I always like I kind of sometimes like a bit more of a loose curl though so instead I find curling my hair with curlers gives me the look I want but they never last like they even drop in my hair and it's textured it just I find heat styles don't stay in my hair very well but if I straighten my hair it will stay straight for ages so Bit of a nightmare that but apparently my hairdresser recommended heated rollers for my type of hair so i'm excited to give them a go i'll try them out this week i think and maybe film it because it might be quite amusing but i really hope they work because i kind of want that like bouncy blow dry look so excited to try those and then my boyfriend eden got me a lovely fleece that is super super fluffy it's that kind of fluff that remains fluffy like you know if you get the really soft fluff kind of like my dressing gown actually this type of fluff after a while it'll go like rougher whereas this fluff just always stays lovely i think anyway and i'm always complaining that i'm cold so now i can complain less because i have a fleece but yeah they're just some of the bits and bobs i thought i would share with you guys um i hope you all had a lovely christmas again and i'm excited to start the new year i've got lots going on this year with the potential for a masters starting a new job and then juggling youtube which takes up a lot of my time actually so but yeah i refuse to do it as a full-time job which is just making my life even harder because i treat it like a hobby but then it's no longer a hobby like i do it every day so stressful but um i'll link on my social media down below if you want to check out my other channel which is all about fossils i would suggest to do so um it's called m gems if you want to just look it up but uh i talk all about things rocks and geology over there which is really fun but thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more